Hey guys, right here I have a 2013 Honda Accord 2.0 VTIL. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. A hydraulic rack and pinion power steering system is what the 8th generation Accord uses. With the facelift, the steering wheel on the 2.0 variants, which features sport grips at 10 and 2, is now wrapped in leather. The only transmission offered with the Accord 2.0 in Malaysia is a 5-speed automatic with low gear selection. Another new feature on the facelifted model is the standard fitment of front and rear parking sensors across the lineup. In terms of safety features, the Accord 2.0 comes with two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, and an alarm system with immobilizer. Now, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. Sixteen inch five twin spoke alloy rims with two one five sixty R sixteen tires are fitted to the Accord two point zero. The front brakes are ventilated discs, while the rear brakes get solid discs. The suspension is made up of double wishbones up front and a multi link setup out back. The eighth generation Accord was the last of Honda's D segment contender to have two separate models. As before, the Asia-Pacific and the North American regions got a larger Accord with the choice of either a 4-door saloon or a 2-door coupé, the latter only available in left-hand drive form. Meanwhile, a smaller Accord that had the choice of either a 4-door saloon or a 5-door tourer estate was offered mainly in Europe and Japan. Certain markets like Australia and New Zealand had both models, and the smaller Accord was known as the Accord Euro to keep it different from the larger model. Japan also had both models, but the larger Accord was known as the Inspire, whereas the smaller model kept the Accord name. In China, the smaller Accord was known as the Spiria. Like the previous model, the smaller Accord is sold in the United States as the Acura TSX. This Accord is powered by Honda's R20A3 2.0-litre single overhead cam, 16 valves, Naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine with multi point fuel injection and IV tech technology. This engine produces 154 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 189 newton meters of torque at 4300 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 11 seconds and the top speed is 190 km per hour. The fuel tank capacity is 70 litres, and the combined fuel consumption for the Accord 2.0 automatic is 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres. The Accord is a front-wheel drive vehicle. The 
the 8th generation Accord was on sale in Malaysia between April 2008 and September 2013. The facelifted model debuted in March 2011 with three variants, 2.0 VTI, 2.0 VTIL, and 2.4 VTIL. Exterior features of the Accord 2.0 include automatic halogen reflector headlights, front fog lights, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, chrome door handles, and a single chrome exhaust pipe. This Accord has been fitted with the optional modular alpha package which gives the car a body kit and a rear spoiler. Speakers right there and down there, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window lock, central locking and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered while the front two windows are the only ones that get a fully automatic function in both directions. This button turns off the interior sensors for the alarm system, parking sensors, storage, push this lever to release the fuel door and pull it up to release the boot lid. The driver's seat in this Accord VTIL does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located right down there together with your two-way power lumbar support. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she revs. Dual zone automatic climate control system, the display is shared with the infotainment display located right up there. Back to the controls, from left to right, passenger side temperature, rear defrost, air conditioning, different modes, front defrost, fan speed, 
recirculation. Sync means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control the temperature for both sides. But if you turn it off, each side will have individual temperature controls. On off, automatic mode, and your driver's side temperature. Storage right here and below. More storage. And a power outlet. Cup holders. Or storage, depending on what you use it for. The Accord 2.0 comes with an integrated head unit with CD and USB connectivity options and six speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that this Accord uses is actually not that bad. The display is right up there, but the controls are below the climate control panel. Six preset stations, in dash six CD changer, the CD player is WMA MP3 compatible, load button to put in your six CDs into the system, eject button, clock, title, auxiliary, CD, FM AM, volume and power knob, scan, different folders, Seek track buttons, selection button, this menu, return, knob, and this button right here allows you to go through your various menus. If you hit the menu button, you can bring up your sound system settings with bass travel, fader balance, speed volume control, play mode, and adjust the clock. To go back, hit the return button. If you hit the button within the knob, you can select your playlists, artists, albums, and songs. And that's about it. Central locking. Power folding, side mirrors. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your audio controls with your different mode selection button, volume controls, and your seat track controls. On the right spoke, cruise control. On the right stalk, light and indicator controls. And on the left stalk, wiper controls. The steering wheel in this car does get tilt and telescoping adjustments. You adjust it using this lever right here. Adjustable front center armrest with two tier storage, a smaller area above and a larger area below. Down there as well, USB port and another power outlet. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights, sunglass holder, Driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. And the driver does get a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
in the control storage and a little ashtray or storage depending on what you use it for I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get slightly more than this. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are comfortable as well. Storage pockets on the front seat backs, rear aircon vents. Rear center armrest with cup holders and a pass through to the back. And right above for both sides at the back, there are grip handles and lights. And for the right side as well, there is a hook. Cabin light right up there. can pop open the boot lid either via the lever inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on or via the button on the key. Boot space in the Accord is 450 litres. For extra practicality, the rear seat backs, which folds down in one piece, can be folded down using the lever on the top of the boot. Under the boot floor is a vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit, jack and warning triangle. doors open surprisingly quite wide and an almost 90 degree angle which does aid entry and exit from the rear seats. Adjustable headrests front and rear. gets full manual adjustments 
this lever adjusts the seat back while this bar down here adjusts the seat position. Lockable glove box. It is of a nice size. Grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2013 Honda Accord 2.0 VTIL. Thanks for watching and goodbye.